Hey guys, Exia here, or should I say double OQ? Man, how go with Exia? Anyway, oh, let's see where to begin. We're going to be talking about Dirt 3. So let's get to the main menu first. Okay, let's start off before we get any further. Uh, I have not played Dirt 1 or 2, so this is coming from a person who's pretty much new to the series. Hmm, very nice menu design. Um, uh, let's see, check out some things here. Everything's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. You got your campaign, your multiplayer, your single player, and your stats from the game. Okay, let's go to the uh, campaign mode here. And the menu is pretty much triangles, pyramids. Yes, pyramids. Um, every time you complete a season or a session, uh, and you get first place, you're pretty, much, you're pretty much getting a gold pyramid first, saying, hey look, you got first place! And these are all the races, for each, you know, pretty much each season. Uh, let's see, this one over here is the second season, I've completed two sessions, I'm still working on this one right here. And, uh, pretty much every time you complete a race, you get points to unlock more races, so I'm working on that. And I still need to unlock more seasons. Yes. Okay, let's check out the multiplayer. It's pretty much standard Xbox Live, split screen, system link, yada yada yada. And since I don't have a party, it, this this does not work. Xbox Live people, let's go. Do -do -do -do. You have two choices between, you know, Pro Tour or Jam Session. Pro Tour is pretty much your ranked races, while Jam Session is pretty much let there be freedom. So, let's check out. You can choose between, you know, individual versus team. Uh, let's see, we have your Rally, Rally Cross, such and such. Blah, 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 blah. Invasion and Outbreak are pretty much your arcade types transporter, cat and mouse, joyride which are pretty much you know capture a flag and so and so you can also look for damage um, okay people let's check out single player okay you have a choice between single race or a time trial your choice red pill, blue pill and you get pretty much the same amount of uh, types of races, rally, such and such, you can, this one you can choose your location, your uh, vehicle class, group B, open, 2000s, 90s, 80s, you can also choose a track, condition is a new thing, you can choose, you know, rather it's rain, sunny, night, and you choose, and those are pretty much the uh, vehicle choices, which, uh, kind of, Dirt 3 takes it away where, you know, you can only choose a car for its rep, which I see no reason because I want to drive this car, but it only gives me so amount of reputation, which is kind of stupid. Plus, I hate the fact that you can't customize your car in this game. But, oh well, beggars can't be choosers, right? DDD, just looking for a car. So yes, this is Dirt 3 in a nutshell. So, your choice between this or Need for Speed. So now, at least you have a choice between which game you want to buy. The downside of Need for Speed or this upside of Dirt 3. Your choice, your red pill, your blue pill. But since the recent downfall of the Need for Speed franchise, mainly because of, you know, Pro Street maybe, you're going to choose this game. Yet, the only other competitor in this racing genre would probably be Midnight Club LA. Yet, I don't like the open worldness, so... In my opinion, I'd say the open worldness is a little bit too much freedom for me. I want a little bit more direction, so Dirt 3 does feel, fulfill that. If you want more compelling evidence why you should choose this game over Need for Speed, I suggest you go to IGN.com because sadly enough they have the best review out there. And now, I shall leave you on a closing note of an entire clip of an entire race from Dirt 3. Thank you.